Are you tired of overpriced, unreliable proxies? Data Impulse offers premium residential proxies for just $1 per gigabyte, and it's even pay as you go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another AI video. Today, we're diving into Data Impulse, a global proxy platform trusted by over 500,000 users with more than 90 million IPs across 195 countries. But first, what even are proxies and why do they matter? Think of proxies as the middleman between you and the internet. Instead of connecting to a website directly, you connect through a proxy. That way, you can appear like you're browsing from another country or city. Websites don't instantly block you if you're gathering data or testing. Businesses can collect market data, verify ads, or run e-commerce research without hitting walls. In simpler terms, it's like switching Netflix regions to unlock shows only available in specific countries. In short, proxies give you privacy, flexibility, and global access, and Data Impulse makes them affordable and easy to manage. Now, the standout here is that Data Impulse residential proxies go for just $1 per gigabyte. No subscription traps, no expiration dates, you simply pay as you go. And unlike a lot of other providers out there, Data Impulse doesn't resell proxies. We're talking direct access, which means better quality and pricing. To get started, head on over to dataimpulse.com. Of course, the link is going to be in the description as always. Go ahead and sign up and sign in. Now from the main dashboard, you can manage proxy settings, track usage by affiliate, control sessions, and you can even access all of this on your phone if you're on the go. Also, response times are lightning fast, averaging one second, and the entire network is backed by 24-7 human support. Now for the first demo, we're going to start with one of the most common AI use cases, collecting training data. So let's say you're building a language model or training and AI to understand product reviews. Normally, if you try scraping thousands of pages directly, you'll hit captures, rate limits, or get blocked. With Data Impulse, you can switch on rotating residential proxies. So let's walk through this together. Once you're on the Data Impulse dashboard, you're gonna come over here and add a new plan. Let's do that. And this is where you're gonna pick your proxy type. We've got residential proxies, data center proxies, mobile proxies, and premium residential proxies. Now I've already gone ahead and selected the residential proxies by clicking on buy now right here. You can also click on blocked websites as well to see if the target you're going for is even accessible. Now, once you go ahead and proceed with the payment, you're gonna see your product in the top left. So let's go ahead and click on residential proxy. And at the very top, you're gonna to have your residential proxy credentials. So we've got login, password, gateway, port. Now real quick, if I go ahead to this website right here, I can quickly see my IP address. So here, it is, it starts with 170. Now we're just back over here on Data Impulse. Just gonna scroll down right over here and make sure we're on rotating, which just means that we're gonna have rotating sessions. So each request uses a new residential IP. Now I'm just gonna come over here to proxy configuration and I'm gonna come down to country. So we're gonna select a country. I'm gonna go with United States. Let's go ahead and select this. I'm just gonna go ahead and save this configuration now. Now if I come down here and click on copy, this is gonna copy our proxy connection string, which is basically the full login credentials and proxy address in one line, which is going to consist of our proxy username, our proxy password, proxy gateway slash host, and then the port number. So this is basically the key that lets your connection route through the proxy server. Now I'm just going to come over to Windows PowerShell and I'm going to go ahead and enter in a curl request that includes our proxy connection string. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to paste it right here. Let's punch this in. Once we do that, we can see we have a IP address right here. Now, if I keep doing that, I should get a different IP address for every request that I make. So let's punch that in again. All right, there's a brand new IP request. Let's do that again. And there's a third different one as well. So this just shows that the public IP address changes every time. That means that my requests are routing through residential IPs. So this just proves that Data Impulse is active and rotating IPs automatically, which means that every request looks like it's coming from a real user in a different location. Now, the end result here is that you can gather huge data sets at scale without interruptions. Now, next up, we're gonna show off geo-targeted training data. And that is because AI models don't just need raw data, they need regional context. For example, a training model trained only on American news might misunderstand slang or tone in British headlines. Or a shopping AI might misread prices or product details if it's never seen how listings look in Europe or Asia. With data impulse, you can literally flip between 195 plus locations down to the state, city, or even zip code and 
pull local data sets instantly. So let's walk through this one together. Back over to our dashboard and we're gonna go under products and back over to residential proxy. Let's click right here. So I am back in my residential proxy settings. We're gonna come on over to proxy configuration right here and I'm gonna click on target filters. This is where I'm gonna to come to choose the exact geolocation for my proxies. Then let's go ahead and select a country. So let's click right here. I'm gonna go with Germany. Let's click this. Then I'm gonna come on down here and select sticky. Then I'm gonna save the configuration. Hit confirm. Now, once we save the configuration, that means all the requests are gonna go through Germany. So if I come to the very bottom and click on copy right here, my new proxy connection string is gonna reflect our changes. Now I just entered in Foxy Proxy in a Google search. I just went ahead and added Foxy Proxy as a Google Chrome extension. So if I come on over to the very top, I can click on the extension right here. So I just clicked on add. We could see it's named Kingy AI and then I entered in all my credentials from the data impulse dashboard. In other words, I copied and pasted everything here in terms of proxy access and just entered it in accordingly. Then I hit save. And at the very top, if I click right here, I can click on Kingy AI to enable the proxy. So it is enabled. Let's quickly do an IP test just to confirm where we're located now. Now here is my new IP address and this is a German IP address. Just over here on Amazon and we can see that it's amazon.de and we can even see the German flag here to indicate the region that we're in. So I'm just over here on bestsellers. Let's quickly come over to a product. How about this one right here? And we can even see that the currency is a dead giveaway here. All right, now it is time for some pricing and final thoughts. Let's quickly recap pricing. Remember, residential proxies start at $1 per gigabyte, while mobile proxies are at $2 per gigabyte. And remember, there are no expiration dates. So for instance, if you bought 50 gigabytes today, you're going to use it until it runs out. And just an overall recap, Data Impulse offers premium residential proxies, 195 locations, 90 million IPs, rotating plus sticky sessions and 24 seven support, all starting at just $1 per one gigabyte. So be sure to check out the link below, go ahead and sign up and start with $1 for one gigabyte today. Good luck and have fun with your proxy usage.